Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome. We have finally gotten here. It is the beginning of the most degenerate time of the year. June 1st, Pride Month is in full swing and a little bit of housekeeping to begin with. Now, because this is going to be such a special little month that's out there, and given the fact that there's going to be a huge amount of news with all of these companies doing incredibly stupid things, I got a little bit of heads up for you guys. Normally I do three videos every single day and I don't miss the scheduling when it comes to that stuff. Streams, I try to keep it pretty consistent and I got my schedule for that. But for this month particularly, and I'm not promising every single day, but if you guys see four videos, I don't know for sure if there's gonna be five videos or something like that, but if there's additional videos that pop up on any given day, it's not a trick, it's not a drill, and if you watch the stuff over on Rumble, sometimes I forget to reschedule some stuff and you just get a bonus video regardless, so anticipate. And especially today, there will be an additional video that'll be coming out after, we'll probably talk about Bud Light or something like that, I'm not entirely sure, or something like that, so whatever, we'll be talking, okay? And we'll be having four videos out here today. This is a story from a couple of days ago, and this idea kind of came to me given the fact that my back catalog is full of videos that need to come out with some old with some old news stories that definitely need to get out there a little bit quicker so in order to just make sure that I cover all the topics that I want to that's why there might be a little bit of an increase when it comes to video production or at least when you guys can see them in a timely manner but without all Boring you guys to death, that's the housekeeping out of the way. So, first and foremost, Chick-fil-A. What are the longest holdouts? Like, a, a proudly Christian company, which, yeah, they don't even open up on Sundays. I don't know if that's changed or anything like that. Just decided to take the entire, not just the woke pill. Like, they took the entire bottle of woke pills, and n not through the mouth. They treated them all as a suppository, getting put on to the... Each individual knuckle and that's the way that they were administered like what are you guys doing chick-fil-a sparks anti-woke outrage from vp of diversity equity inclusion post yeah why would they do that proudly christian proudly anti-woke company if we're just gonna go ahead and use that language set like that's been their entire thing okay like they've been protested by you know gay lobbies for as long as i can remember but they've just been steadfast and they have a pretty good rep yeah, reputation when it comes to that stuff like they have uh, the best quality fast food chicken i've never ate at chick-fil-a i'm not a pining to eat at chick-fil-a i don't frankly care if this is a good thing for them or a bad thing for them it's just simply a sign of the times and because it is well we gotta make mention of it of course chick-fil-a a chicken sandwich chain long yeah long beloved by conservatives for its long-standing opposition to same-sex marriage yeah it was just because of the owner and it's weird because they didn't really they didn't really make it a business practice it was just a bunch of people digging through the personal proclivities of the guys that's in charge and then just extrapolating that out to the company so that's kind of how they got that moniker and that uh, societal image so weird it's not like they had chick-fil-a homos get out it, that wasn't their tagline at all but now it's probably homos can come and eat free it's just everything is shaped cylindrically and you can only eat out of a trough with your hands tied behind your back is sparking boycott calls after denou er, announcing sorry that i wish they were denouncing this that it has hired an executive in charge of diversity equity and inclusion oh man the atlanta-based company named eric mcreynolds okay to the post of vice president of DEI two years ago, but social media users took note of it in recent days, igniting angry denunciations on Twitter from conservatives who attend, who, oh, sorry, who allege that the firm has gone woke. Well, if it was just this one post, eh, there wouldn't be much to write home about it, but as you probably already know from the title and from the thumbnail, yeah, that, there's more to this story. He was promoted to the position of vice president of DEI in November of 2021. Fantastic. According to his LinkedIn page. But the recent gay controversies involving brands such as Bud Light, Target, Kohl's. I think that video is coming out next. 
I've been alluding to it, and it's just been waiting. That's why we got to do the multiple, you know, and it just a supersized version of uh, video deliveries here for at least a month, and then I'll just kind of gauge the popularity of it moving forward. But anyways, corporate America embraces or embrace of DEI, uh, which seeks to diversify workforces. How well is that working out for you? Not great. It has been criticized by conservatives who claim it is discriminatory based on race and gender. And yeah, now we can see that these institute, or I'm sorry, these um. Departments have been in the workplace for uh, coming on a decade or two at this point in time, and we kind of see how they effectively kill off business and are only good for the blue haired land whales that get shitty degrees and then just think that they're entitled to a job right out the gate. It's not like these departments bring in anything worthwhile for the company. It doesn't make it a better place to be. It's just a more concentrated version of the human resources department, which everybody hates to begin with. So here's the guy. Oh yeah, no, of course. I've never seen a straight white male in charge of anybody's DEI department. I, I swear to God. But to be fair, I haven't seen a whole host of them. It's just normally actually kind of a sus overweight chick, if we're going to be completely honest, with problem glasses, which another reason why, you know, to support your boy, I need to get some new glasses because these ones I, I make me look like a panel van enthusiast. But yeah, this is the first guy that I've seen. And of course, you know, of course, right? Uh, this is bad. Very bad. I don't want to have to boycott. Are we going to have to boycott? Said conservative strategist Joey Manorino. Well, to be fair, he probably just goes to fast um, spaghetti joints. Okay. Manorino then posted an informal poll asking his 166,000 followers on, is this on Twitter? I would imagine it was on Twitter, right? That's not a very big account. Let's be honest. Okay. As of late Tuesday afternoon, a little more than 47% of respondents voted in favor of a boycott. Well, half for air 52.4% voted against it. I would like to see the update. I'm not going to check on it because the, frankly, I don't care what a Twitter poll has to do about it, but apparently that's enough for New York post. I just want to know what they think about this new video. That's come out. Former Chick-fil-A boss, Dan Cathy suggests white people shine black people's shoes in resurfaced video. What the fuck is going on here? Okay. A three-year-old video showing Chick-fil-A's boss. Okay, so three years ago, this was happening. And then a year after the video was recorded, you promote somebody to be the VP of DEI. Very interesting. Dan Cathy, son of Chick-fil-A founder S. Truett Cathy. <sighs> Why is it always the next shitty generation that ends up fucking up the good legacy of a father fucking christ got down on his knees at a church in oh lord in june of 2020 because we all knew what time it was then was that before or after that um criminal uh, fell asleep in a wendy's drive through wrestled away a taser from a cop and then just figured out what the end result of fucking around and then he ended up finding out was as the city was gripped by protests and yes burning down buildings so he just decided i must start i'm gonna do the reverse of shoe shine gimmick oh lord give me the strength rayshard brooks that's his fucking oh no it was rayshard brooks i have a tough time keeping all the criminals straight but i think rayshard brooks was in atlanta yeah because that was jacob blake in waukesha not waukesha daryl brooks was waukesha kenosha Kenosha was race or was Jacob Blake. There were so many criminals that ended up meeting a just fate that it's tough to keep them straight. I invite folks to put some words to action and we need to find somebody who needs to have their shoes shined. Okay, let's be completely honest. If you're going to look to try to find black guys shoes to shine, they all wear sneakers. It's they're very tough to shine. Uh, we need to g just go right over and shine their shoes. Kathy said the devout Christian. What? Hey, what? Okay. Whose father founded the popular chain in Hatville, Georgia in 1946, then stood up and walked over towards Lecrae Moore, a Christian rapper. Oh, God, Christian Rock's fucking atrocious. Outside of Striper, shout out. But I couldn't imagine how atrocious Christian rap is. Fucking gross. Who took part in the roundtable discussion at Passion City Church. The executive bent over and began shining more shoes. I, 
Listen, man, I don't know anybody outside of just like the uber woke that are on MSNBC and CNN and all of those roundtable talks, but I would be extremely uncomfortable. Like if somebody was like, oh my God, we need to go out there and give reparations to, to Ukrainians that are out there. Don, please pick up your foot and allow me to shine your shoes. I'd be like, no, get the fuck away from me, you weirdo. Whether they got tennis shoes or not, and just say sneakers, just say fucking Jordans, okay? Just, you know. If you're going to be so fucking weird, might as well go whole hog. Uh, maybe, well, no, there's the eat chicken only cow, right? Isn't that their slogan? No, it's um, lick the boot for equality. Uh, maybe they got sandals. It doesn't matter. Yes, s or shine their socks, lotion their feet. Said Kathy, who stepped down as CEO the following year. <laughs> Thank fucking God. Was replaced by his son, Andrew Truitt, Kathy. Oh, for fuck's sakes i'm sure he sucks just as bad but yo that's a i don't know was that filmed on a fucking potato but even that rapper doesn't really look like he's enjoying that all that much he's like huh, it's a cool trick that you have right there but get away from me cracker it's all right i can say it that's my word it's our word three chords is my word uh, my dad's oh the dad's bold gesture not my dad <laughs> He'd be way too based. Uh, gestures came after several Chick-fil-A branches in Atlanta were smashed up during Black Lives Matter protests. So you just thought, no, they're just trying to go inside. They're trying to find the brushes that we have. They're all survivors. We've had a dozen Chick-fil-A restaurants that have been vandalized in the past week. But my plea would be for white people rather than point fingers. Because, you know, if you point the finger, three are pointing back at you. At that kind of criminal effort would be to see the level of frustration and exasperation and almost the sense of hopelessness that exists among some of those activists within the African-American community. To pull a wolf blitzer. Oh, they're all so poor. They're all so black. Just the low or the soft bigotry of low expectations. Just thinking, oh, those blacks, they're just so stupid and they just need our help. Please just go, just go shine their shoes. Just knock all the glass off of them after all of the looting. And if they, if they have any additional ash from any of the burnt buildings that's down, just knock them off because they've just been disadvantaged. Are you fucking kidding me? We've got a real bad situation. We don't need to let this moment miss us. It has to hurt us. Why? If you're doing a good job, you're using a brush. You're not using your fingers or anything like that. As Caucasians, speak for yourself, Cracker, until we're willing to pick up the baton and fight. Whoa, you're, you're talking about hitting blacks with a baton? What are you doing? We'll fight for. Oh, okay, cool. He's bringing three of his friends and three of his, three of his brothers. Wait, no, oh, four, four, like the uh, in company. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. Uh, black African American brothers and sisters, which they are as one human race. But what about the white African Americans? Uh, shout out Elon Musk from South Africa. Don't help them out. That's different though, right? We're shameful. We're just, oh my, I can't even read the rest of that shit before it just fucking makes me cringe out of my spine. However, uh, his conciliatory words and actions were turned against him on a video was posted to social media Tuesday amid backlash over Chick-fil-A naming Eric McReynolds, which kind of, to be completely honest, kind of sounds like a, a good Irish kid. Another quarter of my people, shout out. It's senior executive in charge of gay policies. Let's just call it what it is, die policies as well. If you guys actually had some backbone, you'd go diversity, inclusion, equity but of course you won't at least gad sad will shout out to the good doctor it's embarrassing on so many levels get woke go broke what or wait they're trying to get butt light or butt i said butt lighted eh, kind of makes sense right i've seen that joke a multitude of times chick-fil-a has nearly 3,000 locations long considered beloved brand in the eyes of people who enjoy fast food chicken i'm pretty sure it says conservatives who applauded the chain's opposition to same-sex marriage yeah just their um apolitical take on it's uh, good enough to just say they oppose gay marriage and it's like okay base uh chick-fil-a and then the latest company to find itself in the crosshairs of a furious conservatives calling to boycott of popular companies but let's be honest okay like Bud Light boycott is a continuous ongoing success because there all are there are alternatives that's out there. Coors Light, 
Ugh, Miller Lite, Yingling, Paps Blue Ribbon. There's a whole host of different companies that are out there that just have worked hard to try to earn your money by simply not doing what Bud Light did. The Target boycott is working so far because there's alternatives. There's Walmart that's out there, Marshalls, Nordstrom, a whole host of different places. Okay, just because Target's a one-stop shop doesn't mean that people who don't like their policies that are going to be out there, if you can go get your groceries and you might be able to pick up a new shirt at the same place you can do the same at walmart or you can make a couple of different stops and go to a few different places for your groceries and for your textile needs but as for chick-fil-a they kind of got the monopoly especially for white conservatives that are out there that are looking to boycott chick-fil-a because are they actually going to be going to popeyes so with all that said i thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo i want you to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone